Hi, my name is Lynn and this is the Darwin Orva channel. Well, today I'm going to build this desktop air purifier, uh, which is great for removing any odors in the air uh, or for soldering. Now, this is made with computer fans in the back, a charcoal filter in the front, and it has an adjustable speed controller on the side here. Uh, it's light and portable and you can really bring it anywhere. I mean, you can put it on your desk in your office, uh, you can bring it in the car, uh, or you know, where, anywhere where the air needs to be freshened up a little bit. Not to mention, if you turn it around, then you have your own personal desk fan. So let's get building. Well, let's start with the basic parts. I have two 90mm 24 volt computer fans. I picked mine up really cheap from a used sale at the local university, however, you could always order yours online. I'm using a 12 volt DC power supply. However, since these are 24 volt fans, I want to be able to utilize that extra capacity, so I'm going to connect them with a voltage booster. I took the little blue potentiometer off the booster, and I'm going to use that one to set the maximum voltage that I'm looking for, which is 24 volts. Then I have a second 10k ohm potentiometer here, which also has a switch, and I'm going to be using that one to control the range, as well as turn the fan on or off. I have a 3000 ohm resistor connected here, in line of both the little blue potentiometer and the 10k ohm potentiometer. So let's plug it in and see if it works, and I've got a voltage meter here to confirm the range. Now you can see that the maximum is 24, and it goes down to 15. If you wanted to avoid the booster and the extra work, then you could just directly hook up the fans to a 12 volt power supply and use a switch. However, I wanted to be able to utilize all the available power here, plus it's kind of cool to be able to control the speed of the fan. So now it's simply a matter of enclosing all these parts in a neat little package. Now I decided to use MDF for the box, and here you can see I'm using the X-Carve, which is a CNC machine, to cut out the parts. I have an easel file in the description, ready to use if someone else wants to do this too. And here you can see that I'm finishing cutting through the MDF with a razor blade. Of course, if you don't have a X-carve, then you could cut the pieces out with a saw, and I have left a link in the description for a set of templates that you can print out and glue on top of the pieces to get all the holes right. For the two large holes, I use a 3 and 1 quarter inch hole saw and then use either the drill or the drill press to cut out the holes. So here are the pieces that you need cut for this air purifier box. So let's connect them. I prefer to put on some yellow glue on the edges as well as some hot glue. The hot glue works as a clamp as the yellow glue sets up and dries. I'm putting in a couple of these small support pieces of MDF in the corners to provide a little extra strength. Now, as a filter, I ordered a charcoal filter meant for a range fan. Just fitting it in there, and I'm notching out the space for the little support pieces in the corners. I'm also doubling up with two pieces of filter. Then just continuing to put the box together. And I'm also gluing together some thicker support pieces, which I will glue in to the box, which the backing will screw into. Okay, so now I have the basic box complete, which means all the sides together except the back with the fan holes, which we'll screw in later. So to finish, I'm starting with a coat of shellac to seal, then sanding, then a coat of primer. I'm also adding spackle to any areas that have imperfections. Then painting the pieces white with a flat paint and finishing with the water-based polyurethane. So the box is finished, now let's go back to the contents of the box. And here I'm just going to trim up some of the wires and solder some of them in place. Here we have the power connecting to the switch part of the potentiometer. Uh, here I'm inserting the filter into the box. I have these thin pieces of MDF I cut up to keep the filter in place. And I'm simply hot gluing those to the support pieces. Next, I'm screwing the fans into the back piece and the holes fit perfectly. To clean up some of the wires, I'm twisting them around each other so they stay in place and uh, then securing to the fan with a plastic zip tie, just because I don't want the wires to be all over the place. Okay, time to connect everything in place. So I'm connecting the wire I twisted from the fan into the booster and securing it in place. 
At various stages I confirm that everything works and nothing has shorted or come loose, which happens from time to time. Then bring the parts into the box and especially the potentiometer twist knob which goes in the side of the box. I put a nut on the outside and then I secure it. The power cord goes in the back, right below the fans. It's a pretty tight fit. Then I'm hot gluing around it to secure it in place. Also securing the booster with some hot glue, as well as some wires to the side of the box, because I don't want them to interfere with the fans. And then it's time to close the back, fit the fans in, and I'm screwing the back in place with some small screws that goes into those support pieces I glued in place. So that works nice. Okay, now to make that knob on the side a little bit more comfortable to turn, I decided to make a bigger knob. Here's a piece of walnut on the lathe. Then I'm just drilling a hole in it so it can fit around the metal knob. And I'm mixing some epoxy here to glue the large knob on top of the small knob. Okay, now that just has to dry and we're ready. Okay, let's see how it works, shall we? Well, it works really well. Um, initially, when I was planning on building this, I really wanted something very nice. You know, something that was like a speaker uh, or a, a nice radio or something like that. So uh, I decided to go with MDF, which I think was a good choice because it's easy to work with. Plus, you can get a really nice finish uh, on here, which is nice. Now, uh, these are 24 volt uh, computer fans, which is great because then you can really get more air movement. Of course, you need to add the booster to be able to use that. Uh, but I also really like how this runs on 12 volt power, so that you, it's really easy to plug in anywhere and bring in your car with you. Uh, now, the back is you can remove quite easily, so you can replace the charcoal filter uh, when it gets dirty. And now for the side here, for the knob, I turn this on the lathe. Um, but of course you can make this out of anything, you can cut it up any way you want and you know you can cut it out of MDF, paint it, whatever. So uh, yeah, if you enjoyed this project make sure to share it on YouTube and on social media. And also if this is your first time here make sure to subscribe to my channel because I put out project videos every week. Otherwise thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.